Hey guys, um, happy Monday. I hope everyone had a great weekend. I'm sorry I haven't been on here um, for a little bit. I was on vacation this past weekend and my son's been sick and it's just been crazy with my my real job, my real job. <laughs> um, but I'm super happy to be back and I am excited because I have a new microphone. Thank you to everyone who said you couldn't hear me <laughs> in my readings. Um, I got a new microphone so now you'll be able to hear me. And I won't have to um, worry about whispering uh, when my son is asleep. Um, so thank you guys again for watching my channel. Uh, I love you guys. And it's so crazy just taking a couple of days off. I, I really missed you guys and I really missed doing the readings. And uh, I'm super happy to be back. Um, and I hope, you know, everyone is uh, enjoying the start to the week. Um, so I pulled some cards and I kind of pulled, I think I pulled them in a little different order than I normally do. But again, I, I do like, you know, uh, more intuitive readings, just wherever I'm guided to go. Um, so I did, you know, twin flame reading for, uh, the collective right now, what's happening right now. Um, so I kind of feel like this is the energy for the next week or so, um, and so the first row that I, and I'm sorry if you guys can't see these, um, I'm still again trying to figure out my setup. Um, so the first row I, I pulled was, where is the divine masculine in the heart space um, in regards to the divine feminine? Um, and you guys, I got beautiful cards. I got the king of cups, the magician, the ten of pentacles, and the five of swords. And so I felt like, you know, he has been manifesting. He's been manifesting, you know, this king that he wants to be, this king of cups, this, this you know, balance, this generosity. Um, I feel like he wants to come into you as this. Like he wants to come into you. He wants it to be magical. He wants it to be this, you know, beautiful sort of family um, relationship. And, uh, you know, again, I, I think that he's fighting at all costs. This is, you know, he's been fighting to get to get to this point because he wants to come into you and he wants to say, look, I know that this is a divine connection. I know that I've been manifesting this. I know that you've been manifesting this. Um, I want to be your king of cups and I am literally going to fight for it. I am now going to fight for it. Um, and so this was such a beautiful overall energy to me of where he is in the heart space for you and, uh, divine feminines. And, um, you know, I think in what he really wants is he really wants this, this family, this beautiful, you know, um, stable relationship, 10 of pentacles, you know, working hard, grounded, um, lots of abundance, so I think he's going to, you know, he wants to fight for that. And that's where he's at in his heart space right now. So then the next row I asked was, you know, where is he at in his head space regarding the divine feminine or how is he viewing the divine feminine? So the first card I pulled was the tower. Yikes. Right. No, it's actually good. The knight of cups, uh, the nine of cups and the king of wands. Um, and so I was kind of like, hmm, okay. So I feel like he's maybe sort of gone through this tower moment or he's, you know, viewing you as going through this tower moment. Um, he wants to come into you this night, night in shining armor and offer you this cup, but he wants to make sure that your wishes get fulfilled because he wants you to see him as the king of wands. Um, and so I was like, I don't know that I was getting kind of some weird energy from this. And I said, okay, please clarify the tower. And the queen of wands came out. <laughs> I was like, well, that's kind of perfect. Queen of Wands, King of Wands. Okay. So I feel that he's had that he's had this sort of tower moment um, that he knows that you're the Queen of Wands to his King of Wands. And again, he wants to come in and he wants to make, make you this beautiful, beautiful offer. Um, you know, this kind of romantic gesture and sort of like your wishes being fulfilled. Um and he wants to do that. But, you know, I think, I feel that he's still kind of going through this tower moment. Like there's a little bit um, of maybe some residual energies going on there. Um, but, you know, again, he's viewing you as the queen of wands in his headspace. And he 
knows that he is your king of wands and he wants to get to this point. Um, and, and he is getting there. You know, again, he's gone through this tower moment. So it'll be really interesting to see what happens over the next, the next week or so. Um, and I did decide to pull some cards for a karmic situation. Again, this can be work. It can be family. It doesn't have to be a third, a third party, another woman. And I say woman, and I use all these terms loosely, divine feminine and divine masculine. Um, you know, it could be a man or a woman. Uh, but, you know, just for, for the sake of the readings, I tend to refer to the divine feminine as her and the divine masculine as him. Um... So what's interesting about this energy, so I pulled the Four of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, the, th the Empress, and the Star card. And so I was kind of like, oh boy, what does this mean? Because usually to me, the Empress is Divine Feminine. You know, the Star is about hope. The Six of Pentacles is about like generosity and giving. And so I was like, okay, well, what's going on with this karmic? But the Four of Swords is all about rest. And so I felt that the energy was like, He's been giving too much. He's been giving way too much to this relationship, you know, and he feels like he's just having to give pretty much a lot of himself um, to this relationship, that there's not a lot of re reciprocity, which is what came to me right now. There's not a lot of reciprocity. You know, he's giving. He's giving, 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 and there's not a lot of, re lot of reciprocity from this karmic that I believe she feels like she's the empress, like, you know, I am you know, high and mighty was what just came to me right now. Um, and, you know, the star card represents hope. And so I feel like, I feel like he was really, really hoping that this relationship was going to work out because he's given so much to it. And, you know, and I think at one point he thought she was the empress. Um, but I, you know, it's so funny. And here you have the star card and you know I, this is about hope but she's also pouring out the pouring out the jugs of water and so it's almost like an ending and so then i asked to please clarify okay please clarify the empress and the star card and so we got the two of wands here and we got the uh five of cups for the star card and so this to me was exactly what i was thinking he saw this this woman as being his future he was like i'm i'm here this two of wands you know i'm in this energy of wanting to give you this beautiful relationship this beginning um and then you know here we have the star card with the five of cups which to me represented uh, he, there's no hope. There's absolutely no hope for this to happen because he's been giving too much and now it's laid to rest. And that was just the whole overall energy that I got for the karmic situation. Again, like I think he, he's laying all of this, all of this to rest because he's been way too giving. This was not what he thought it was going to be. And here there's no, there's no hope. There's absolutely no hope for this relationship. You know, no matter, um, what the relationship, you know, ends up um, being, there's absolutely, you know, no hope. There's no future. There's no future with this empress. It's just not there. Um, so then I pulled, and this is funny because I kind of think I did this out of order of what I usually do. But again, I was just guided to, to do whatever. So then I pulled the energies for the actual union. This is communication. This is union. I think I usually do them reverse, but hey, whatever the spirits were guiding me tonight to do it this way. Um, and so for the union, I pulled out the page of cups, the lovers, the page of swords, and the eight of cups clarified by the hermit and the fool. So this is really interesting. So the union, so page of cups, he wants to come in with an offering, but it's probably going to be a small offering. He wants this beautiful love, this lover's energy. He wants, you know, to get back together. I mean, this is this is exactly what this means. And then the page of swords, this is kind of like, you know, he's been spying. He wants to know what's going on with you. And I think it's so interesting because then we get the eight of cups over here and this is like walking away, like, you know, disillusionment, fear. And I feel like He's watching you right now and he's seeing you as independent and maybe he's seeing like, I don't know. I don't, I don't think she wants to be with me. 
That was the, the first thing that I thought of. She doesn't want to be with me. I want to come in and give her this offer, but notice that it's the page of cups. It's this fish. It's like, it's going to be a small offer. It's not a huge offer, but then you have the lovers and it's just like, okay, so I'm going to offer you this love, but it's not going to be, it's not going to be too much. And yet I'm worried. I'm worried because I don't know where you stand because I'm watching you and I've got all these fears. And then, so I asked, please clarify, you know, the, the eight of cups. And so I got the hermit and the fool. And it, that was exactly what I was thinking. He is afraid. He's afraid of what you're going to think. He wants the new beginning. He absolutely wants the new beginning, but he's kind of going into hermit mode right now because he's like, I don't know what she's thinking. I, I'm watching her and she seems to be happy and she's, you know, living her life and maybe she's living her best life. <laughs> um, so I feel again, like it's a little bit stagnant. Um, and it kind of goes back up to here where he's at in his headspace. Like he wants to give you the swish, but he's not quite the king of wands yet. You know, there's been this tower moment and he wants to make sure that, you know, he's the king of wands before he comes in and gives you this this offering uh and then my final question was okay so communication because obviously you know a lot of us in this twin flame um dynamic are not in communication uh with our divine masculine and so i said okay so what's going on with communication and uh it's interesting because i got the page of pentacles the seven of wands the um four of pentacles and the five of pentacles so a lot of pentacles here which, you know, pentacles mean like earthly, uh, 3D, 3D material, material things um, that are happening. So um, page of pentacles, yes, I definitely thought that, um, you know, he definitely wants to communicate. Um, it's this kind of like new opportunity, like, again, manifestation, you go back to the magician here. And again, it's more, it's about manifestation. Um and the seven of wands, you know, he's been, he's been sort of like fighting. He's been fighting this. Um, he's been holding on to hmm, the past. He's been holding on to the past. That's just the download that I got right now. Um, I think he's really been struggling with what to do because I think that he's, he's afraid of change. This almost gives me like he's afraid of change. And then the five of pentacles, like out left out in the cold. And so I feel like he's afraid, he's so afraid to come forward to you because he feels like you're going to leave him out in the cold. Um, and you know, that's one of his biggest fears. He doesn't, he doesn't want to feel left out in the cold. He wants, you know, to be with you and, and have this great communication, this sort of heart to heart talk that he knows that you guys need to do. Um, so that's how I felt about that. So I want to draw a couple cards. Um, I want to see what, like what the messages are um, from the Divine Masculine. So I'm going to actually pick all these up. And let's draw a couple messages from the Divine Masculine. The Divine Feminine. What does he want you to know? What does he want you to know tonight? shuffle what does the divine masculine want you to do tonight what does the divine masculine want the divine feminine to know tonight All right, one more shuffle Pull a couple from the Rider Weight Tarot. We'll pull a couple angel cards and some spirit animal guide cards. Okay, what are some messages that the Divine Masculine? Oh, okay. I'm not reading any reversals, guys. <laughs> Look at this. Temperance and the Two of Wands. So, all right. Before I read that, I'm going to pull, let's pull some angel, angel cards to clarify. So temperance is all about balance and the two of wands is all about future planning. 
So remember, we pulled the two of wands uh, with his karmic. So he was wanting to plan a future with his karmic. And it was like, there was just no way. There was no way. Because you know what? I feel like he was being divinely guided. He was being divinely guided that, you know, there's this other connection. There's this divine connection that you have with your twin flame. Um, and there's no way that that future was going to work out with her as the empress because the divine feminine is the empress. I don't know if you guys remember back to but again, we get this card again. So again, it's about balance and future planning. And I love this. I love this. Um, you know what? Let's clarify. Let's clarify this a little bit more. Spirit, can you tell us a little bit more about the temperance? <laughs> All right. So I'm going to just pull those two because that's what I was guided to do. So we got the four of wands, you guys, which is the the 11, 11 um, card, the union card. So <laughs> this is amazing. Balance. So it's interesting. We have conflict here with the five of wands on the end and then balance here. And then here we have future planning and reunion. So I feel that this is all coming. It's all coming, you guys. And he's just, he's still got some conflicts that he's still fighting. He's still fighting either this connection or he's fighting um like some third party situations he's still resolving he's still resolving some things um but this is what's coming this is what's coming and these are his messages to you he's saying wait hang on wait and hang on that's just what i got i'm coming for you i'm coming for you that's so beautiful okay so let's pull um, some angel cards. What does the Divine Masculine want to tell? Whoa, hey, both of these. Tell the Divine Feminine. You guys, oh my God. Oh my God. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. An unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. All right, I want to read, this is a new deck for me, the angel cards. I want to read with that. So, I mean, reconciliation, we obviously know somebody from your past is coming back, which to me, that's your twin flame. But unrequited love, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. But let's see what that says. The romance angels compassionately bring you this card as an answer to your relationship question. The person you're inquiring about has many qualities that you find attractive. However, there's not enough mutual attraction to create the passion you're seeking. The relationship is more like a cat and mouse chase with one partner continually retreating and disappearing. Neither person enjoys this imbalance and lack of chemistry is the reason. You may both share genuine love, which in, it, in itself can be a foundation for a long-term relationship. This card comes to you simply to help you understand the missing components, which you both can sense. Every relationship is a synergy of blended energies. You can't completely control the attraction factor but you can override and steer sometimes painful childhood experiences can draw you to unhealthy relationships as you recreate the original situation and attempt to heal it you can ask the angels for guidance to help you elevate your spiritual frequencies so that you attract a partner of a similar nature you deserve to be in a relationship of mutual appreciation and attraction so it's worth your time and effort to manifest one with these qualities so this is interesting so let's pull let's pull a tarot to um let's pull a tarot to clarify that because i feel like we have all this beautiful energy here of reconciliation and union and then we have this all right you know maybe you're not attracting the right partner but maybe it's because there's this conflict going on and maybe it's just not the right time spirit can you clarify this unrequited love card I'm just going to pull this one. All right, Queen of Cups. So I feel, I feel like this is, a, this is a karmic situation right here. I feel like he has been attracted to this Queen of Cups who, to me, represents the karmic in this situation. Um, and I feel like there's still some conflict there. Like, remember I was telling you back from the reading, um, that there was some tension. There was still some conflict. There was still some, some finishing out of that, all this conflict. And notice how all these cards came out on this side. 
and we have the reconciliation here. So I feel like this is what he wants. This is what is happening, but he still got this sort of unrequited love for this very toxic relationship with this queen of cups who is it's so funny every time i see the queen of cups i feel like you know she's just looking at this cup like whatever <laughs> she doesn't seem happy she seems very distracted by things that are pretty things that are beautiful on the outside but perhaps not really seeing what's on the inside of this cup and that's sort of um, the message that I'm getting. So I feel that, you know, this is all going to happen, you guys. It really, really, really is. There's still some conflict. There's still some tension. This may be why he's not coming forward. That stagnant, you know, um, communication energy. Um, so let's find out. What can we do? What can we do? So let's pull some spirit animal guide cards here and see what we can do. I'm going to move these up. All right. Spirit, what can the divine friends do? Or what's the message? Let's see, what's the message from the divine masculine? Is that what the feminines can do? Whoa, hello. Things are falling. I'm not going to take these, though, because there was too many. <clears throat> Let's cut. Spirit, what's the message from the Divine Masculine for the Divine Feminine? Oh my gosh, there's so many. I don't know why all these want to keep coming out. Okay, this is way too many, guys. Let's do... Oh my goodness, all right. Let's do... just read them all <laughs> this is what they were telling me so so we have the panther spirit reclaim your power the deer spirit bring a gentle touch the hawk spirit i'm actually i'm not going to read reversals because i didn't read any reversals in anything else so let's just put all these together reclaim your power bring a gentle touch let spirit be your guide believe in yourself and take the lead so I just feel that this is all about surrender. <laughs> I mean, it really, really is just about surrender. And I know we keep hearing that over and over and over, but it is so true. Um, believe in yourself. Let the universe and your spirit guides guide you into, you know, doing what you need to do to reclaim your power. Um, but also in a gentle way, you know, this is, this is all about reclaiming your power, but also still remaining in your feminine energy. Um, take the lead. This is take the lead in your own life. And I love that we both got the deer and the stag spirit. Like these are just beautiful, beautiful animals. Um, anyways, so I hope this reading resonated with you guys. Um, I think again, you know, this reconciliation is coming. This union is coming there's no doubt about it. Continue to do what you're doing for yourself. Continue to do, um, you know, to surrender. I think that's really, really important. Um, and you know, you're gonna, you're gonna manifest this. There's still some energy here that's, and again, if you're not in a third party, this could be work, it could be family issues, but there's still a lingering energy here that needs to be cleared before this can happen and the way that you're going to help clear this is by doing you so i hope this resonated with you guys um and i hope you have a good night and i will see you guys soon i promise not to stay long stay gone so long <laughs> it's just been a little crazy lately take care